Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to another video about VAR. Um, this video has came around purely because I got an opinion on it and I always will. Um, my opinion is I don't blame it on the VAR. My opinion is I blame it on the referees. Um, now this video has came about because of the decisions that I think were wrong over the weekend um, but then it's also came in debating about how the Premier League are using the um, system I think the Premier League are using it wrong um, and I 100% you know that's my, that's my opinion um, VAR is it needed? I see, I think it does. Um, if you look at it over long term, um, but I also think that Everton should have had maybe one, maybe two penalties over the game against Tottenham, but. As I said, it's all down to the Premier League and the referees. Um, let's got to talk about the monitors first of all. Um, side of the picture, you've all probably seen them. Um, they're there if you haven't. Um, I want to talk about why the referees are not using them. Now, if you watch one of my Premier League predictions, I can't remember what week it was, um, one of the ex-Premier League referees spoke to Talk Sport and uh, saying the, rep the on-field referees do want to use them. On the other side of that, Mike Riley, who's in charge of all the referees, said saying about um, basically, we don't, we don't want them to use them. Because it saves time. But when it comes to a decision on the field, I believe that the referees should use them. They're the first league that I've seen that don't use the on screen ref uh, script the on field screens with you know when the technology is in place. Okay, come on, let's be honest, it's been used in the MLS, it's used in Bintas, they it's used in Syria. Um, the Men's World Cup, the Women's World Cup, every time I've seen it, the screen has been used. The Premier League is the first league that I have personally how angry with the Premier League over this debate. Um, the bait is still ongoing, it probably will, until I start using the on-field monitors. Um, but let's go back to VAR. Obviously, the first time it was in use, it was in the MLS. I, I think it's the second year that I started watching the MLS. And plus, it's our off-season, so... Um, I think they use it perfectly, they do it as quick as possible, um, you know, and that is, no, you know, that's the thing over there, uh, you can have your own opinion on the league. Um, the Men's World Cup, yet again, perfect use, the on, the on monitors, on film monitors was used again, um, I think it was quite a few times with you know, how many times it was used on the field. Um, the Women's World Cup, yet again, it was used um, on the field. Um, Phil Neville even said on match of the day one week, um, you know, obviously he's the England women's manager, he said that, you know, the referees will go over, look at the screen, make a decision. I think the Premier League are using VAR so wrong over this season. Until we start using it properly, I can't see the Premier League benefit 
benefit it, benefit it in the league. Um, but I still don't ban the VAR. It's up to the referees. Um, I've seen where the, some of the VAR monitors are over the last how many games been played in the Premier League. Over 90 games in the Premier League and yet the on-field monitor has not been used once. Um, by the sounds of it, it looks like the people behind the monitor um, in London, wherever it is, can't, can't remember, um, they don't know how to put it onto the on-field screen. That's why, my opinion, why they're not using it. Um, but you really have got to start questioning, you know, do the Premier League want it? Um, obviously, it's benefited. There's been a few uh, overturns over the previous week, but it should not have been called by the people behind the screen. The referee should going to have a look at it and say in that, Okay, I think it's, and then debate it. But, or, when they're looking at the screen in London, um, put it on the on-field screen as well, and then debate it all at once. The Deli Alley penalty um, challenge for Everton over the previous weekend, they viewed it around about 26 times. 26 times in one camera angle. Are you kidding me? I mean, it is really, I really don't see how the Premier League are going to benefit from it, um, unless they start using it properly. Okay, Brighton's had a penalty decision over Ted. Um, Song um, should have had a penalty for Tottenham. Slightly clipped, but as I've said, death contact is a penalty. Um, but until the referees... Mike Riley um, and all these referees and officials and ev another thing I don't think that the pre I don't think they're all all as one. Um, I watched a thing a few years back, I think it is now, and uh, Mike Riley said um, it was behind the scenes uh, sort of thing. He was saying to the camera, "As referees, we're all as one." I don't believe they are. Because if they were all as one, a lot of the referees will be going, well, I want to look at the screen, put on the screen now. At Newcastle, um, I remember seeing this at the uh, Newcastle versus Brighton game, live on Sky. Um, the monitor was behind the advertising boards, well, one of them were. What was what it doing behind the advertising boards? I mean, how's the referee supposed to see that? Um, Grinison Park, it was right down low, like you will have to lay on your belly to look at it. I mean, come on, Premier League, best league, best league in the world. We're, we're lucky we're not the best laughing stock as Premier League supporters. Um, you really have got to start using the te technology properly before it's too late. By the sound of it, you're like, yeah, we're the best in the world, we don't need it. That's what it looks like from my perspective, even though I do back the technology. But you really have got to start using it properly. Um, you know, you've got the likes of, uh, you know, go over to the MLS. Look at the TMI and rugby. Obviously, if you watch the Rugby World Cup, the TMI was used quite a few times. But the fans know what's going on. Um, I'm not sure if it picks up the conversation from minute one. But I do know the referee does let them know. Um, but come on, Premier League. You really have got to start working these things out. Um, I mean, there's been well over 90 games. And what, over 20 decisions over 10? Not good enough. And not on, not once has the on-field on screen been used. Um, but it frustrates me um, week after week. Where the screens are there, the screens are so low as well. Why are they low? I mean, what are you expecting? By the looks of it, the Premier League does not want the VAR. My opinion. But the referees have been asking for it. So let them use it. I mean, really? 
I mean, oh, okay, as I said, I benefit the technology, I love it, but until the Premier League start realistically using it, we ain't got a, we ain't got a chance of it being successful in the Premier League. Really start learning about the technology. By the looks of it, um, Common Brew said it, I think it was Martin Keown, he said they should have brought the technology in until they knew how to use it. Premier League, it was in the FA Cup last year. How long does it take to get used to a bit of technology? I mean, really, I mean, it frustrates me to the bone with the lights of, we got VAR, it's benefiting, benefiting the league. The fans are left in the dark unless they're at home. Um, but, as I said, until the Premier League start working on certain issues, I'm still going to be a bit frustrated by VAR. Um, not the VAR itself, though. Don't get uh, confused. Um, by the match officials. I mean, obviously, Andre Gomez had a nasty tackle on the weekend. Get better soon, uh, Andre. Um, but until the on-screen monitors are used, we are not going to see the benefit. I mean, okay, look at the monitor. Then the fans sort of might know what's going on. Put it on the big screen. I can't know a couple of Premier League grounds ain't got screens, but, you know, for the ones that have, we'd like to see what you're actually checking. I mean, 29 times for a attempt on on one challenge at one camera angle. Change the camera angle. I mean, I watched that Tottenham game live on Sky again, and not once was the camera angle changed. I mean, are you serious right now? As I said, I'm surprised we're not laughing stock, because that's what we're becoming, um, all Premier League fans. I reckon next year be in the Championship as well. But unless you start using the Premier League, and if it comes in the Championship, we're not going to see the benefit. It's up to the Premier League and the referees to do their job at the end of the day. If the referees can't do their job, find someone else that can. Because I know there are a few good referees coming through um, it's like a bit of a promotion thing, coming through the leagues, and they could do a better job. I'm sorry, but I'm being truthful. Until the, re until the Premier League referees start standing up with the technology and saying that's a penalty, come check your own film monitor, you know, until all this happens, we are so far behind on this technology, it is a joke. I mean, it's literally one thing after the next, after the next. It's sort of become a habit now where a VAR decision will all the fans go and yeah, go to the on uh, the on film monitor. It is literally such a laughing stock. It is untrue. But you know, as I said, a bad technology. But until the Premier League start using it properly, we ain't gonna see the benefit. Um, but guys, anyway, if you like this debate, uh, feel free to uh, join in the debate down below in the comments. Um, but guys, anyway, you know what to do. Give us a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.